Hey you guys, Cora here. Thanks for watching. I've been kind of bad about my summer video filming, so I skipped June, but here we'll combine June and July, make a little summer month combo. And I thought since we're about halfway through the year, it might be interesting to talk about my 2018 vision board with you guys and just check in on how that's going and what has come to fruition and what has not yet, but is on its way, I hope. The first thing I have on there in the upper corner is this girl hiking with a backpack because I wanted to continue exploring nature and going out on adventures. And I think this exact image has happened a lot because that girl kind of looks like me. And I have that almost the same backpack. So that has definitely happened more than a few times in my year so far, which has been amazing and hopefully continues for the rest of the year. Next thing, sadly, has not happened yet, but I put a little California bungalow with a front porch, which would be probably my dream home style to live in, and I live in a top floor of a house with two other girls, but I'm happy to have a home, and our house is pretty nice, so can't really complain, but I haven't stumbled upon my bungalow dreams quite yet. I'll keep you posted if I do. Then the third image has been pretty amazing to me because I made this vision board back in November of last year um, and I put a picture of the Pacific Ocean because I really had my heart set on moving to the West Coast to somewhere in California. I wasn't sure where, I wasn't sure how it would happen, but I knew I really wanted it to happen. Um, and since then, I've since moved to LA. I've been swimming in the Pacific Ocean as much as I possibly can. Usually I live about 45 Five minutes from the beach but this month I've been subletting a place in Santa Monica so I live like so so close less than a mile from the beach and have had tons of views and access to the Pacific Ocean which has been incredible so that vision has totally come to reality much to my surprise and to my joy Another thing right in the middle there, this is the fastest one that happened. I put a girl on a slack line because I love to practice and learn about circus things and acrobatic things. Um, and literally like the third day of the year, I think, maybe the fifth day of the year, I was still in Nicaragua traveling around and we came upon a swimming hole where there was a slack line over the water and I got to do it without being afraid because the water would catch me. Uh, so that was like, boom, vision board and reality so fast. And right underneath my little bungalow dreams, you can see a picture of a plane wing, and that is representing a red-eye flight because I wanted to live in California, but still be able to go back and visit my family and travel to see friends and new places. And that's kind of like a be careful what you visualize and wish for because I have taken the red-eye now quite a few times, and it is pretty tough. Usually it requires me to take a three to four hour nap on the day of arrival, which is not as much fun for my family and friends. So maybe I should have put the plane wing flying in the daytime and not overnight, but I am happy to have had these opportunities to travel to visit home. And then right underneath there, I have a picture of a girl on a climbing wall because just like slacklining and outdoor adventures, I always want to be trying new things, especially when it comes to physical activity. And I started bouldering at the end of last year. I really love it. Um, and strangely enough, I've gotten to teach yoga at a climbing gym, which was one of my goals for moving to California and just teaching yoga in general. So that's been really cool to see that come into reality, even though my climbing skills have not really improved all that much, but I'm doing it, so that's happening. Then in the bottom corner, one that's been really cool, I put a picture of a yoga teacher teaching classes because I moved to a new place and I really want to establish myself as a yoga teacher here. And interestingly enough, I didn't really set this as a goal but I've ended up doing a teacher training and like spending a lot of time in a studio that looks exactly like that like it could have been that picture could have been taken in this studio they even have the same walls and just like the same lighting uh, so that's been something that I didn't even consciously try to have happen uh, but I've ended up there by fate or a twist of whatever the universe wanted for me or just my powers of manifestation 
Last one is a picture of Georgia, the drummer from one of my favorite bands, Yola Tango. Uh, this one, I have to be a little bit careful of what you visualize because I put it on there because I think she's super cool and so talented and I wanted to have her drumming abilities, uh, but actually I haven't been drumming much at all and I think the vision board translated it into just me going to see Yola Tango. Because I got to see them in Pioneer Town near Joshua Tree a couple months ago, which was really cool, but not exactly what I meant on the vision board. So be clear about your intentions. So that's about all that I'll share with you this time around. Um, I wonder if you have your own vision boards or if you've set any intentions into reality for this year, so feel free to share. It's interesting to see how many things come into reality or work out differently than we expect, sometimes in a good way, usually in a good way. And I hope you're having a lovely year so far. Nice to check in with you. Thank you for watching. Namaste.